Hi guys and welcome to our channel Catastrophe Sailing. I'm Ruin. And I'm Lika. Please join us on our journey here on YouTube. Getting down to the boat from Denmark. Lika is still there. And I'm fixing some heating. And I did the windlass. And I'm going to install new panels for the engines. It's just going to be great. So here we have the old installation. Now I'm going to switch it over so that I'll try and put in the new. So I've got a plate mate that should fit right here. And I'm going to add two instruments on each side so that uh, I can read the temperature of the engine and the oil pressure. And these engine panels, I have some new ones fabricated, a good brand in Denmark, so that it looks nice and neat. This is, I know that you can actually change these, but I wanted to go with a new look where it's all pretty much the same, so it goes. So I removed the old instruments and the chuck bar. I installed just for test all the new panels. And uh, now I'm going to mark up. new panel so that I can cut out the holes for the extra instruments. Yep. 
Kulimeček. So I did some cutting to make space for the new instruments. I'm going to fix the other one and I'm just going to polish everything up before I mount it. I'm going to take this one off as well. That new one there so it will match the colors. Really looking forward to it. I'm back from far far away and I brought a lot of things from Denmark and part of it is uh, instruments I'm making new panels uh, for all the instruments so that's what I'm doing right now trying to clean this up I did some of it last time I was here and I fouled up on some of the things, so I had to get older to make a new panel for me here because that one got uh, wrecked. And the boat is a mess again, that's nice. Pull down the ceiling here, and I'm going to put in a plate there and make some new holes for it. I hope that I can make it fit. So I thought I would show you guys the end result of the installation. They're now running those engines and that works perfectly. And here we have temperature and oil pressure. And these are the old instruments, so they're working fine as well. But anyway. Really, really happy with the plates there. Makes it look a lot nicer. Oh. It's uh, just about 3 a.m. and uh, I couldn't sleep anymore, so I decided just to get out of bed and start doing some work. Uh, I'm going to change the cabin lights, uh, bedside lamps, something. Bought these. They have this USB so that we can charge our phones. The original plan was to run some chargers to all the cabins, so I had to pull some extra cable and drill some holes uh, but now I'm just uh, I found these and we're going to install them then I won't have to do as much work as I would have before so that's nice so let's go so here we're in uh, starboard forward cabin 
This is one of the lights. All broken off here. Okay. This is the other side. <clears throat> also something iffy. So now it will be the same and you'll be able to charge your phone. And that's the first one down. Nice touch panel. And USB charger. So, today I'll be doing a shitty job. I am changing the manual pump for the head. Um, yesterday I did it on the other side and they're really old and brittle so it's time to change these guys out. These were donated by a very good friend. You know who you are. Thanks a lot. But anyway, head first into the shit. We're trying to make a full enclosure for the boat and we're going to do it ourselves because uh, we don't have the money to let other people fix it. So we chose the warmest day of the year and we don't know what we're doing. So, Ciao. And we uh, drew up the first line for the first cut and we're going to make this one first and I measured it and I found out what angle we should uh, cut it in, drew it up and my beautiful wife she told me yeah, you did it wrong you need to do it the other way around otherwise you won't get the nice sign outwards and again she's right Duh. oops wrong line <laughs> First dry fit. Didn't do a template, we just uh, used the fabric as template. Put in some needles, pins, or whatever they're called. And now we're going to do a cut down here. And then we'll sew that in. It's the first part done. Testing, testing, testing. Mm, 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 mm. Have a good look. Go ahead, go. Oops. A sudden, you care about it. Yeah, it's okay. You can take it down there. So zipper is on one side. And now we're going to try and put the other part on and see if we will succeed. We don't agree on everything, but uh, until now we <laughs> compromised and it works. Yeah. Right in the middle. So far, so good. 
three pieces in the puzzle. It's quite the job here. So, no more work today. Four pieces in, and tomorrow we will try again. Seen from the outside. This is going to be great. New turn, tingies. Yeah. New turn, tingies. Oh, yes. They have to be new. One of the projects that we have been doing over winter is enclosure for the cockpit here. And I'm just uh, putting in the vinyl uh, windows. And this is supposed to roll up and we attach that if we need sunlight in like now we can just do that and if the sun is too hard we can pull it down and we'll get some shade so the stitching isn't uh, all that great but it's cheap three o'clock in the morning i had to get up early to try and finish the enclosure because uh, the crew will be coming down very soon and I need to clean up the mess I made here in the boat so I'm pretty busy here I have to turn on all the lights so I can see what I'm doing at the moment I'm doing the port side, half point. Oh. Keep going, keep going. So here in uh, Secunsus and me forgetting to film the enclosure all done but uh, now we finally got it done and it's in use now so I'll let you guys see here. All done, and we're really, really happy with the result.